Oh, hi everyone. It is Monday morning. I hope you guys had a good weekend. And I know it's the weekend now that you're seeing this, but uh, yeah, I had kind of a laid back weekend. I did go and see a Bon Jovi rock band, cover band, I mean. So that was fun. And we went to a speakeasy restaurant. That was kind of cool. Everybody was dressed up in the 1920s. Uh, so anyway, to the fashion challenge, which is why you are all watching. Um, it was wear giant earrings today. So these are just some really huge hot pink beaded earrings that I got from Amazon. I can try and find the link and put them below if you want to wire some wild and crazy earrings. But let me tell you what I have on for you. First of all, this is just a pink, a bright pink and black and there's a little bit of orange in there uh, scarf that I'm wearing uh, and I put it on over a just a long sleeve black and white or a black with white polka dot shirt that I got from my Meyer grocery store actually like for six dollars and then this is just a black sleeveless puffer vest that I got from Old Navy and I put it on with a pair of my Democracy jeans that I think I got from Dia & Co. Uh, maybe Natalie Attired back when they were still in business. And I didn't put my shoes on yet. But I'm just wearing my black suede shoes. And here is my giant pink earring day. All right, tomorrow's fashion challenge is to style a white button-down shirt. And I just got something new out of my trunk club, which you guys haven't even seen yet. So I think I'm going to wear that tomorrow. So stay tuned, and I'll see you on the flip side. Bye, everyone. Good morning. It is Tuesday, and what's going on today? Not much, but we had to style a white button-down shirt. Now... Uh, last week I wore two white button-down shirts and I do have a third white shirt so I was able to put it on so let me show you what I did first of all here are my earrings they are just some uh, silver ovals with a little black and gray kind of sparkly stone here I got these from rocks box and then I'll put on a little bit more light and then here's my necklace. It's just a silver chain with a, a medallion at the bottom. It's silver on one side, gold on the other, so I'm wearing it on the silver side. All right, so as you can see, I do have on a white button-down shirt. Um, it is a Calvin Klein. I didn't know I had three of them, so this one is a little bit older. But this has got the longer tails in the back, which I'm not too crazy about, but it was my only clean white shirt because my other two are at the cleaners. So what I did, now you haven't seen my trunk club yet, but this is a sweater from it. It is a crop sweater, which I'm not a fan of, but I absolutely love this color. It's like a rib net. It's got kind of like balloon sleeves, and it's a little bit cropped, so I thought I'm going to style my white shirt underneath it. So that's what I did. And then these, uh, let's see, let me try and... And then these jeans are just like kind of a grayish, I don't know, it's got like a weird hue in it, but it's jag jeans. And I want to say, I don't know, it is in one of my boxes. I'm not real good at remembering. And then I just put on my red leather flats because I did break my toe. I don't know if I told you that yesterday, but I had heard it a week ago. And then over the weekend, I walked into the table and John said, oh my God, what just happened? I said, I think I just broke my toe. So <laughs> I have to find shoes that I can actually put on. So here is my styling a white button down shirt today. Thank you. Okay, tomorrow, it's kind of a weird challenge but it says, show us 
your favorite house shoes? Well, I either go in my stocking feet or I wear my fur-lined fake Crocs. So, <laughs> I think I have to wear my Crocs to work tomorrow, so I'm going to have to wear some really big bell bottoms to cover most of the shoe, but I will follow the challenge. So, until then, have a good day. See you tomorrow. Bye. Hi everyone, today is Wednesday hump day and we had to wear our favorite house shoes. I thought it was favorite shoes, but it, when I looked at it, it is your favorite house shoes. So here's mine. These ugly blue fur lined imitation Crocs that I got when I had my surgery on my knee but they are really comfortable and they're warm and it's great to just put them on, zip out, go to the mailbox, whatever it is I have to do, let the dog out. So in order to wear these at the office, I decided to wear boot cut jeans to hide most of it. So I woke up really late today. Uh, I did have my alarm set, but what I forgot to do was take it off of silent. So my alarm was going off and I slept through and I literally had 35 minutes to get out the door. So. This is after work. I did not wear any jewelry because I was racing around trying to get ready. So what I did is I put on a long sleeve uh, light blue turtleneck. And this is a shirt, a long sleeve like tunic or peplum blouse that I got from Walmart. Probably three, four years ago. Paid like almost nothing for it. Isn't it cute though? Every year when I purge my closet, I'm like, no, nah, I like this one. So I found this like burgundy and it has some little black flecks in it. And I thought it kind of tied in the light blue and the burgundy in the shirt. So really cute and great on the spur of the moment outfit. And then I just put it on with a pair of my cut from the cloth boot cut jeans and my ugly blue house shoes <laughs> go here's my favorite house shoe day done in literally less than five minutes this morning okay so tomorrow is monochrom monochromatic day and all I gotta do is decide what color and then figure out my outfit. I don't know about you guys, but I have to put my outfit together in my head at night before I go to bed for mornings like this that I had this morning when you have like no time to get ready. So I'll think of the color and put it together and I'll see you back here in the morning. Bye everyone. Hi everyone, today is monochromatic day. So I decided on purple. So you had to wear head to toe purple and I've worn a few different shades, so let me take a look. Uh, I just put on these really cute little uh, drop earrings, lilac earrings, that I got off of eBay. Uh, no necklace today. I forgot to put one on. I'll have to go do that later. But, okay, so what I'm wearing underneath is just a dusty purple tank top from Walmart. And then this is just a long sleeve blouse that ties around the front to like kind of cinch your waist a little bit. And I put it on with a torrid, long, warm purple sweater. And then I know you've seen me wear these before. These are my wide leg um, flare, purple flare pants that I got from Eloquy. Oh, and this shirt was from Eloquy as well. And then I put on a pair of these deep purple, almost burgundy suede uh, boots. I don't know how long I'll be able to wear them, but we'll see. Anyway, so it's my monochromatic purple day. Okay, one more day in the work week, which is Friday. My boss is gone today and tomorrow, so it'll be a lot more relaxed in the atmosphere, in the atmosphere, in the office today. Not that he's a bad boss, but whenever the boss is away, you know, it's just more relaxed, not as tense. So, uh, one more work day for me, 
and it is mixed animal prints tomorrow. So I don't know that I've ever mixed animal prints before. So this might be a little interesting. So have a good day. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Bye. Hi everyone, happy Friday. Today is kind of a tough day. I've never done this before with mixed animal prints. So it's kind of out there. So let me know what you think. But let me show you the jewelry first. So if you can see, I have on just some dangly heart earrings, which match my silver heart necklace. All right, so what I'm wearing, now this is a sleeveless pink zebra, like little peplum top. I can't remember where I got it. It might have been at like Burlington Coat Factory or TJ Maxx or something like that, but I know that I bought it myself. And then this long, heavy silver sweater, and it's very warm because it snowed a little bit here last night, so I know my office is going to be cold. So I put on this heavy gray sweater. So to complement the pink top, these, this is a dark gray and black leopard print. Let's see if I can show it to you. You see that? So I thought having the lighter pink zebra top on top wouldn't be too much. And then with the dark gray, which brings in the dark gray of the pants, I thought maybe I can get away with wearing these different ones. But then I took it to one level farther. And I put it on with my leopard skin or faux leather alligator or snake skin shoes that I got from Target. So let's get a picture of my whole thing. All right, what do you think? Did I do a good enough job kind of muting these colors a little bit? I was a little bit worried. But. I think I did okay. All right, I imagine a lot of you probably are celebrating Valentine's Day uh, or maybe just got done celebrating Valentine's Day after you watch this. So I hope it was a good one. So I'm hoping to get this video up on Sunday before Valentine's Day. So either way, I hope that you have a good one or you had a good one. Because on Monday, on Valentine's Day, we have to wear red and pink together. So have a great weekend, or I hope you did have a good weekend, and I'll see you on Monday. Bye, everyone.